It was back in November when Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir and local leaders and officials broke ground on a new state of the art veterans health care facility. Now the Veterans Center officially has a name. Joining us in studio is WBKO news reporter Isaac Calvert, who was there when those same officials unveiled the official name for the Veterans Center and what this new health care facility means for the city of Bowling Green. Hey, Isaac. Hey, Al, yeah, that's right. It was a monumental day for the city of Bowling Green and for the family of Colonel Robert Spiller. As Governor Bashir and several local leaders announced earlier this morning, the new Robert E. Spiller Bowling Green Veterans Center. His name will be honorably displayed at the new Robert E. Spiller Bowling Green Veterans Center. That was Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir announcing the official name of the Bowling Green Veterans Center that broke ground in the Kentucky Trans Park back in November. With the Veterans Center joining the likes of Envision AESC's electric battery plant and OI Glass in the Trans Park, Governor Bashir says this is just one giant step forward of many for the city of Bowling Green. It's easy to get in, the roads are here, uh, plenty of water, sewer, and the rest. But what's incredible to me is this is really hot property, where we're locating another business and another business and another business. And you know what they chose to do with some of that property? To put it aside and to donate it for our veterans. That's really special. I'm really proud of Bowling Green for doing that. This 80,000 square foot state-of-the-art healthcare facility is set to create 120 new jobs in the city of Bowling Green. It will also house up to 60 veterans who are in need of health care. Representative Michael Meredith said that bipartisanship played a huge role in getting funding and construction underway for this project. It just truly was one of those examples of what we can accomplish when we all work together to get that done. And it is done now. We're moving forward and construction is all we have left. Two of Colonel Spiller's goals in life were to help the poor and build a nursing home in Bowling Green. His family said that he would be so proud of the work that is being done today. To know that the community loved them so much, all the vets, you know, the community thought so much of my parents. It means a lot to me also. And like Representative Michael Meredith said, the only thing they have left to do is to build the facility. The new Robert E. Spiller Bowling Green Veterans Center is set to open in 2024. Reporting in studio, I'm Isaac Calvert, WBKO News.